Welcome to WebEx. With WebEx, I can message, call, or meet anytime, any place, on any device. Up here, this is me. You'll also see I'm set to Do Not Disturb. So once I get started, I can come in here and I can show my availability. You'll also see I've got a custom status. You can create your own custom statuses here or clear it when you're done. Everything in WebEx is centered around spaces. Spaces is where we collaborate with multiple people in one space, or we might use direct messaging spaces where we only collaborate with one other person. When you're ready to create spaces, come up here to the top, click on the plus button, and decide. Do you want to create a direct messaging space where you collaborate with one person, or would you like to create a larger space where you collaborate with multiple people? You can create spaces with contacts that are already here, and if they're not, all you need is their email address. Over here, you'll see I have more spaces, and these spaces have a space title, like WebEx Deployment. But within it, there's smaller spaces. These type of spaces I like to use for larger projects, where we've got lots of players contributing to different areas of the topic or the project. To create these type of spaces, you'll click on the plus button, you'll name the project or the name of the space, you'll describe what it's about, and you can start to add people here. Let's go back to my spaces and talk about some of the actions we do every day. And it really starts with messaging. I'm always sending messages back and forth. Same thing with emails, but I don't have to do that because I can do that all here in WebEx. I'll go ahead and just type a quick hello and hit enter on my keyboard. Now some more things you can do with your messages is you can hover over them and take a look over here on the right side. Ever put the wrong thing somewhere? Well, you can remove this. I can edit my own message. We can start threads. We can also add reactions. And this is something we can do with other messages that are also in the space. When I come back to the bottom, there's also additional formatting you can do. And if you would like to communicate through GIFs, you can absolutely do that too. I always communicate through GIFs. Sometimes I don't even need words. Now here you'll see there's a file that's been shared in the space. And you do this by clicking on the paperclip icon, choosing whether you would like to share that file from your computer, and you might also have the ability of being able to share files from OneDrive or SharePoint. Once the file is shared in the space, anybody can click on it, view the file, page through the file if it's multiple pages, and in the lower right corner, we also have the option of being able to download it to our computer. And now it's available for me in my downloads folder. To get out of this view, simply close out. The other thing I can do is I can take screenshots. So here, I can grab a little screenshot and post it here into the space. I'll just go ahead and close that out. Now all messages and files that we see in this area are persistent, meaning you can go back to the beginning of time and look at all of the messages, the links, and the files that have been shared in this space. Even if I was added to this space a little bit later by someone else, I can always go back and see the entire space history. So now that I've mentioned someone else, let's talk about these tabs at the top. Let's talk about the People tab. The People tab is going to show you who collaborates in this space. This orange indicator here is going to tell me that there are people outside of my organization, which is very handy to know when there are external people that participate in the space. Now, any one of us can continue to add people to this space. Sometimes the more the merrier. Maybe you've got something that you'd like to advertise and hey, if you know someone else is interested, go ahead and add them to the space as well. But there's other times when we create spaces or we are a part of a space and we would prefer that no one else is added and we choose who comes in and who goes out. In that case, I'll need to click on this gear icon up here and I will need to make myself a moderator. Once I make myself a moderator of the space, then I am the only person that can add people and remove people from that space. And I can always right click on other space members and make them moderators too. That's a good thing to do when you've got a lot of activity in the space. Now let's talk about the content tab. Remember that file that we saw in the messaging area? Well, for every file that's shared, you're going to see a thumbnail of that file that's been shared in the order in which it was posted 
in the space. There's also whiteboards. Whiteboards is where you can create a brand new whiteboard simply by clicking on the plus button. It opens up the whiteboard. You can draw right out on the whiteboard and you can also add post-its as well. Simply click the check and then move that post-it where you'd like it to go. Now, if I want to go ahead and share this whiteboard with the other team members, I will go ahead and post the snapshot here. That will put it in the messaging area and it will also put it here in the whiteboard area. These are all of the whiteboards that have been shared in the order of which they were shared, most recent to the top. And finally, there is the links button. And the links button is where you are going to find all of the links that have been shared in the space, the most recent one to the top. Let's take a look at the schedule tab. The schedule tab is where you can find all of the information you need to get a meeting scheduled and invite the people you want to have attend. You can also click on the schedule meeting button and that will spin up an Outlook invitation, giving you all of the contact information for those that are in the space and giving all of the things we need to get connected to the meeting. The green join button is the button that we can click at any time to start the meeting. And anyone that's been invited to this meeting can start it at any time. Now, if you'd like to start an ad hoc meeting, no scheduling, find the green button in the top right corner. You're going to have this green button in the top right corner in your larger spaces. And you're also going to have the green buttons in the top right corner of your direct messaging windows. This button here will start the call with video. This button here will start the call without video. So what does it look like when we're on a call? Let's take a look first at the direct messaging call. So if you start a call or join a scheduled call through one of your direct messaging spaces, you'll have your call controls at the very bottom of the screen as you can see here in this image. You can mute and unmute, turn video on and off, share content, applications, or your screen. And you also have a chat bubble, and the chat bubble will take you back to the messaging area. You've got a more options button where you can add a guest or create a new whiteboard that you can work on together. And in the upper right corner is where you can go into full screen. And when you're done with the call, simply hang up by clicking on the big red X. Now, when you're on a call, it is going to provide the call in a separate pane. So you'll have your messaging pane and you're also going to have your call pane. Now let's take a look at what it looks like to be in a meeting when you're in a larger space. So you'll have the exact same things as we just saw, but you're also going to have a participant button, which will show you the attendees that are currently on the call. And if there's other space members not attending, you'll also be notified of who is not attending. And when you're on one of these calls, you'll also have the ability of initiating a recording. And when the recording's ready, it's going to go into the messaging area of the space. You can also add guests, you'll have a dial pad, and you can bring up a whiteboard to collaborate on together. And of course, when you're done with these meetings, simply end it by clicking on the big red X. Now, if we take a look in the left-hand navigation bar, back here on the WebEx application, you're going to see that there is a calling button. When you click on the calling button, it'll show you all of your recent incoming and outbound calls. You'll also see there's a dial pad. You can also search for a person that you'd like to initiate a call with. And then some of you might also have your visual voicemail button where you can listen to your voicemail and also manage your voicemail. The last thing I want to talk about is applications. You can integrate applications or bots into your spaces. Bots are like people that will communicate back and forth with you, whereas software applications might be applications that you work on all the time. Maybe you use Smartsheet to manage a project or you use Box as your document storage. Those can be integrated into your space. So now it's time for you to get started. Open up WebEx, go to the plus button, and start creating some spaces today. Thanks for watching.